Hey guys, it's Sally and today I want to have a more personal conversation with you about something na talagang close to my heart. It's about creating a legacy. If you're an entrepreneur or even just someone who's thinking long term for your family, this is for you. Kasi for me, building a business isn't just about making money for today. It's about setting up something that will last for generations. It's about creating a business na magbibigay for my children, their children, and hopefully generations beyond. Kaya in this video, I'll share with you my long-term vision, the values that drive me, and the steps I'm taking para makapag-create ng legacy business. Gusto niyo ba yun? Tara, pag-usapan natin. But before I get into the practical steps, I want to share kung bakit napaka-importante nito para sa akin. Alam nyo, growing up in the Philippines, I saw firsthand kung gaano kahirap nagtrabaho ang mga magulang ko para mabigyan kami ng better future. My dad worked overseas for years and years, sacrificing time with us para lang makapag-provide for our needs at mapagtapos kami ng pag-aaral ng kapatid ko. And that's something na I will cherish and be grateful as long as I live. I want to build something na hindi lang magpo-provide for my children but also give them the freedom to choose how they want to live their lives na hindi na nila kailangang mag-sacrifice tulad ng ginawa ng parents ko. Both me and my husband, ayaw namin na nami-miss yung mga important moments sa buhay ng mga anak namin. That is why creating a legacy business is so important to me and him. It's not just about financial security. It's about freedom, time, and presence. Pero let me ask you this. Paano kung malaman mo na kaya mong baguhin ang future ng pamilya mo forever? Paano kung ang ginagawa mo ngayon ay hindi lang para sa susunod na sahod, pero para sa mga susunod na henerasyon? That's the beauty of thinking long term. Para kang nagtatanim ng puno, alam mong hindi ikaw ang magbe-benefit ng mga bunga nito pero ang mga anak mo at ang mga susunod pa nilang mga anak. Imagine creating something so powerful na kahit wala ka na, it continues thriving and providing for your loved ones. Nakaka-inspire, di ba? Something that even I step away, magpapatuloy pa rin na mag-grow at mag-evolve. For me, it's about leaving behind something na ipagmamalaki ng mga anak ko. Pero more than that, gusto ko na magkaroon sila ng option. Whether they want to take over or simply benefit from the business, walang pressure if that's not their path. And I'm super grateful kasi my husband and I are on the same boat. We have the same vision and together, we make it possible. And speaking of legacy, one Filipino business leader whom we admire greatly is Mr. Ramon Ang of San Miguel Corporation. Siya yung perfect example ng someone who has built a company na hindi lang financially successful pero nakatulong din ng malaki sa mga Filipinos. Mr. Ang ang believes na ang success ng isang negosyo ay dapat makapagpaangat din sa buong bansa. Nag-invest siya sa mga infrastructure projects that improve the lives of millions of Filipinos. Whether it's roads, airports, or even sa pagtulong sa food security ng bansa. Actually, na-feel namin ito. Dati, nung hindi pa nagagawa ang Skyway, inaabot kami ng madaling araw sa EDSA pag bumabiyahe kami sa South dahil sa sobrang traffic. Ngayon, nung nabuksan na yung Skyway, ang bilis na lang ng biyahe namin. His approach teaches us na building a legacy isn't just about personal wealth. It's about helping your community and country grow. The lesson is clear. A true legacy is built by contributing to society, not just for profit, but for the greater good. One of the key things I've learned sa journey na ito is that you have to be clear about your values. Kasi ito yung mga principles that will guide your decisions, lalo na when things get tough. For me, there are three core values that I live by when it comes to building our legacy business. Integrity, impact, and family. Integrity. This means doing the right thing kahit walang nakatingin. Sa business, this means being honest with your clients, treating your employees with respect, and making decisions na align with your principles. Kasi at the end of the day, 
your reputation is part of your legacy. Second is impact. I want my business to make a positive difference in the lives of others. Whether it's through the products that we sell or the content we create, I want to leave the world a little better than I found it. Para sa akin, making an impact is one of the most rewarding aspects of building a business. Third is family. This is the core of everything. My family is my why. Every decision I make in my business is with them in mind. Gusto ko na yung business na ginagawa ko, hindi lang magbibigay for them financially, pero magbibigay rin ng oras at presence. Imagine this, ano ang legacy na ginagawa mo ngayon? What will it look like 50 years from now? Will it be a flourishing business na ipagmamalaki ng mga anak mo? O magiging negosyo ito na makakatulong sa buhay ng napakaraming tao? Just like Mr. Ramon Ang's San Miguel Corporation. The future is uncertain. Pero one thing is for sure, the power of our decisions today has a significant impact on the future. And that thought gives me chills in the best way. So how do you actually create a legacy business? Hindi ito nangyayari overnight, but there are practical steps that you can take para makapagsimula ka na today. Have a clear vision and plan. The first step is to be crystal clear about your long-term vision. Ano ba ang goal mo? What do you want your business to look like in 10, 20, or even 50 years? It's important to write this down and create a roadmap for how you will get there. Step 2 is to build a strong foundation. Make sure na ang business mo ay built on a solid foundation. This means having proper systems in place, creating processes that can be duplicated, and investing in your team. Tandaan, a legacy business isn't dependent on you being there 24-7. It's about creating something that can run smoothly kahit wala ka. That's actually what we're doing right now is improving our processes and system para kahit itong pabalik kami ng Canada, the company will continue to grow and run smoothly kahit wala kami. Step 3 is to diversify your income streams. As I mentioned earlier, diversification is key. Don't rely on just one product or service. Find ways to expand your offerings so that your business can survive economic shifts or industry changes. Whether it's through digital products, real estate investments, or new business ventures, keep your business adaptable and resilient. Step number four is to prioritize long-term relationships. Building a legacy business also means nurturing long-term relationships with clients, partners, and your team. These relationships are the backbone of your business. Treat your clients like family and build trust with them over time. And with your team, invest in their growth and well-being because they are the ones who will help carry your legacy forward. Step number five, keep evolving. Lastly, Never stop learning and evolving. The business landscape is always changing, so you need to be willing to adapt. Continue to invest in your personal development. Stay up to date with industry trends and keep innovating. At the end of the day, building a legacy business is about more than just success today. It's about planting seeds that will grow long after we're gone. It's about creating something that provides not just for us, pero pati na rin para sa mga anak natin at sa mga susunod pang henerasyon. It's about making a mark on the world in a way that reflects who we are and what we stand for. So whether you're just starting out or already have a business, I encourage you to think long term. What kind of legacy do you want to leave behind? And what steps can you take today para masimulan na ang pagbuo ng legacy na yon? Thanks so much for joining me today guys and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Ano ang vision nyo for your own legacy? Let's talk about it in the comment section. Now that you know this, watch this video next.